Hey guys, so the first trailer for Sonic the Hedgehog 3 uh, just came out this morning. Uh, I'm on my lunch break uh, at work. Luckily, I work from home, so it makes it convenient to do things like this whenever trailers drop. Uh, I'm not the most consistent at doing trailer reactions. I can't re remember the last trailer reaction I did, but I'm going to try to be more consistent, at least for big movies like this that I'm really excited for. No promises there, though. But yeah, this trailer has had so much hype surrounding it because I'm pretty sure... It's the last major movie that's coming out this year that hadn't gotten a trailer yet. So a lot of fans were wondering when it was going to be released. The movie's coming out in December. It's already almost September now, but we finally have the trailer for it. And I know this movie is going to be kind of uh, based on the video game Sonic Adventure 2, which funny enough, it's really like the only Sonic game I ever really played as a kid. I didn't have a GameCube at my house, uh, but I had a couple friends who did. And whenever I would go to their houses, uh, they would be playing it and I would play it with them. So it's like the only game that I know uh, really about, honestly. My memory is kind of foggy because it has been a long time since I played them. But I do remember that Shadow was in this game. He was a pretty big part of this game. And Shadow, honestly, is my favorite Sonic character. I've been waiting for him to show up in one of these movies ever since the first movie came out in 2020. And he's a perfect character to finally have in the last movie in the trilogy. I can't remember all the details about Shadow, but I do remember that he has kind of a dark history, especially for a kid's game. Uh, some of the his backstory gets pretty dark. Like I said, I'm pretty sure that this movie is going to be based on, or at least loosely based on, Sonic Adventure 2, or at least the title, like the title logo, is similar to the t uh, title logo of Sonic Adventure 2. And I think I've heard rumors that it's going to be inspired by that game. I'm just curious on how much of that backstory they're going to have uh, in the movie. It'd be pretty interesting if they do go for it. And it's been really awesome because, like I said, this trailer has been really hyped up. Uh, fans have been waiting for this trailer to drop. And I, I remember, I think this past weekend, they finally started putting up uh, like advertisements in L.A. And they even put one up on the Reunion Tower in Dallas. Which is really cool because I live in the Dallas area. I'm from here. I've lived here my whole life. So it's just cool to see that, that being one of the big landmarks that they chose to advertise this really hyped up trailer for. But without further ado, let's go ahead and watch this trailer. Sonic, you finally found your family. Try to keep up. I know it hasn't always been easy. But you didn't change who you are in here. <laughs> it's yeah. funny that James Marston... Pour your heart. Still in these movies. Like, he was introduced in the first movie, so we gotta keep him coming back. <laughs> Wouldn't make a sense if he just disappeared. It's been a high level security breach. Shadow. Yeah. And we Shown in the post credit scene for the segment. Assistance. Project Shadow is far beyond anything we've ever encountered. Shadow's story began a lot like Okay, so he can teleport like in the game. But where you found family and friends. I think I know who that was. Shadow found only pain and loss. All right, we got a rogue alien on the loose. How do we find it? Start with the giant fireball? I love <laughs> it. Let's start with the giant fireball. He is much more impressive than the hedgehog I fought previously. Dude, I'm <laughs> standing right here. You're a colorful bunch. We don't want to fight you. Keanu Reeves. Actually, Sonic. I would like to fight. No, no. <laughs> My turn. Can we just talk about this? He's too powerful. Yep. I can't believe I'm saying this. is definitely a pretty powerful. You know who. This is a bad idea. When has that ever stopped me? Ah, 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 ah. Hey. Doctor, <laughs> it's fat, finally. We have visitors. This is sad, Robotnik. Even for you. We need your help. On one condition. It's pretty cool that they got Jim Carrey out of retirement. Even though his retirement probably lasted only like one year. I need room. But, sir, I don't have the proper materials. Find <laughs> I do like their chemistry, <laughs> those two. 
There won't be anything left. Hey, no cheat code! What did you do? What I had to. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, th that, that logo is what I'm talking about. It's pretty reminiscent Welcome of the home, my boy. Sonic Adventure 2. It's impossible. Is it? It couldn't be. Couldn't it? I am. Are you? In the saggy flesh. <laughs> is that Jim Carrey too? I mean, it sounded like him, but I won't be surprised. I mean, <laughs> if anybody's going to play two different characters, it's going to be Jim Carrey. All right, I just finished watching the uh, trailer for a second time, just off camera. And I <laughs> that trailer is actually really, really good. I'm not going to lie. Uh, it does look like they're going with the Shadow's pa uh, backstory. Uh, like I said, I can't remember exactly uh, all the details, but I remember the main points. And I definitely remember that there's a little girl <laughs> named Maria. That I'm pretty sure they showed in the trailer. Uh, we'll see what they do there. And and I, I, I do know that um, Robotnik's father, grandfather, I can't remember if it was his grandfather father. I mean, he did call him Papa in the trailer, which suggests is, is his father. But then again, I called my grandpa Papa too, so uh, it could be his grandfather. Anyways, uh, I know that he, father, his father or grandfather, whoever it was, uh, had played a part in Shadow's creation. So it does seem like they're trying to keep it ac lore accurate uh, to the game, at least. I do wonder if Rouge and Amy are going to be in this movie because I, I do remember them both being a pretty particularly big part of the uh the game i can't remember exactly what all they did but i do remember them being in the game so i re i wonder since this is based on the game if they're going to be in the movie or not i mean obviously they're not going to show everything in the trailer or at least i hope they don't uh it'd be cool to have some surprises in the movie and i mean i know obviously after watching the trailer it's not going to be exactly the game because i mean robotnik and sonic are working together and sonic and his friends are working for the government or at least some kind of government whereas in the game the government had mistaken sonic for shadow uh who was committing all these crimes so the government was going after sonic so Th those two major components are pretty different. And since I brought up uh, Robotnik and Sonic working together, Shadow at one point in this trailer does say that when we're done, there won't be anything left. When we're done, there won't be anything left. So I'm curious that we're part, the we part, uh, I wonder if it's implying that he's working with someone. So I I'm curious if it's going to be revealed that Robotnik is secretly working with Shadow because they did work together in Sonic Adventure 2. Or maybe it is Rouge who did work with Shadow in the game as well. But I am really happy with the Keanu Reeves casting. I know there for a little while is being rumored that Hayden Christensen, the guy who played Anakin in the prequel Star Wars movies, was going to play Shadow's voice. But then they cast Keanu Reeves, which funny enough, I, there's rumors now that Keanu Reeves turned down a role in The Acolyte so that he could be a uh, shadow in this movie. But I don't know how true those rumors are, but my point is Keanu Reeves is honestly the perfect casting. As much as I wanted Hayden Christensen to be shadow, I truly do think that Keanu Reeves is an even better choice. Honestly, I kind of think that Keanu Reeves, as much as I love Keanu Reeves as a person, he's like one of the most loved actors in Hollywood and for good reason. I don't think he's that great of an actor, but there's something about his acting that just fits Shadow so perfectly. Because Shadow's always been this overly serious, kind of emo character, kind of melodramatic. I don't even want to say melodramatic because he does have a pretty dark backstory. But Shadow's kind of edgy vibe just lends to Keanu Reeves more kind of almost like wooden. I don't want to like overly insult his acting, but is kind of almost campy kind of acting. It just meshes so well together. <laughs> it's like a perfect combination. And you had Shadow doing a Kira slide, which I don't watch anime too much, but I know about the Kira slide and it looked fantastic in this trailer. And I'm just glad that they gave Shadow a motorcycle in general. I'm hoping they give him guns, at least for one scene in the movie. It'd just be hilarious, especially to hear Keanu Reeves say, I need guns. Lots of guns. And I especially can't wait to hear Keanu Reeves say, Chaos Control! Because 
I'm sure they're going to put that in the movie, and that's going to be fantastic to hear Keanu Reeves say. Overall, I am just really excited for this movie. It does seem like it's going to be a little more serious. Not like overly serious. It's still a Sonic movie. It's still a kid's movie. But it does seem like they're going to go more of a serious route. It is the end of the trilogy, so obviously, in general, it's just going to be higher stakes and everything. But I'm just excited to see how it turns out. But yeah, let me know what you thought of this trailer. Are you excited for the movie? And... Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and leave us a like and subscribe to the channel. And as always, we will see you later.